a uh, shed update and uh, I'll spin briefly on here. I picked up another uh, Halo uh, Warthog and another Pelican. Uh, Hobby Lobby had their little big clearance and I picked up, they actually had one each and I had to actually go to two different stores to get uh, one of both and now I have two, because that's the way we like to work around here, of the uh, Halos, which, uh, you know, they, they can be used for so many things. I think they're excellent kits. My only complaint, they keep saying this is 32nd scale, and it's not. It's basically 124th, 120th, if you really want to get down to it, because if you scale them with the uh, Tamiya figure there, it's uh, they're about the same size. So anyway, we're adding some more Halo to uh, the art, which I like. I like these kits. So these are sealed, and those two are uh, open because we had to uh, fondle and uh, look at them. Up next, the uh, Grim Reaper. This was also this is a reissue. I don't own a uh, an original one because this is a Tom Daniels. Uh, this kit came out I think in the late 70s and I uh, wish I had an original one just to go with the uh, reissue but anyway take what I can get I don't have many motorcycles in here because it's kind of one of them uh, you know I pick them up when and if I uh, find them but I wanted this kit in particular the Grim Reaper because I wanted the uh, Mobius Grim Reaper here to uh, have his ride because basically he's on the uh, front of the box there so I thought man that'd be a pretty slick uh, diorama have uh, Mr. Grim Reaper have Grim Reaper motorcycle because it is 1-8 scale which I assume is probably either is or pretty close to it and uh, this kit's 1-8 scale so everything would rock and roll with the uh, Grim Reaper there but anyway that was something I want to do I want I'm probably going to put this up there in the motorcycle section which uh, we like to put there up there in the attic of the arc but I may uh, I may actually put him uh, next to the Grim Reaper because it kind of be a combo thing there. But anyway, I think it's a cool kit. Of course, I like odd uh, odd models. So, but anyway, we're at the uh, Grim Reaper's ride to uh, the art uh, hobby store. Won't spend much time. You know, uh, uh, well, hobby stores uh, they could sell. Where is it? Where is it? They could sell the vehicles. But they couldn't sell the figures. Well, now they lifted that little ban after uh, you know everything went a-okay, and uh, so they got the figure kits in. And uh, I picked this one up because I don't have it. This is the R2 and a BB-8, which they're one twelfth scale. And uh, I actually bought R2 and R5, and then I was at a uh, uh, I want to say an antique store. They actually had one of these, uh, basically half price, so what you could buy it. Uh, full price so I bought me another one because droids can be repainted I wouldn't necessarily paint R2 I'd paint some other uh, droid you know uh, R2 KT which is all pink uh, you know stuff like that but anyway not too shabby and we can never have enough droids you know inside the art Joker came out this week uh, this is the 66 uh, Mobius kit which I have number two coming uh, that'll be here probably in about a week uh, because I got two each of all the uh, Batman kits we are hoping to get and let me find it real quick we're hoping to get <sighs> Batgirl but I think Batgirl if you ever seen the uh, resin kit of that the pose on it I think the uh, kit version is going to be different from the resin one because the resin one I thought was going to be scaled down which that was the I think original plan but since they got sold I think things have changed uh, there's a little uh, Hoo about the kit. It looks like Cesar Romero. The kit's a little soft, which uh, it ain't a killer to me at all. I think it looks uh, great, and you know, I know it's probably come out with some resin heads for it or something. But anyway, other than that, I think it's a gorgeous kit. Uh, of course, I like all the uh, Batman kits, and I wanted two each uh, to have you know two complete sets, and one set will have a completed contaminated cow Batman, which will make their collection unique as well as having a whole set but anyway love the kit love the box art uh of course you know hopefully uh mobius slash pegasus hobbies will uh do miss mrs batgirl and we will have a complete set but anyway adding the uh joker uh to the art uh auto world store had a sale they have a sale uh deal of the week and uh, they had the uh cat I have uh, the cat. Uh, this is him in his red coat. 
this they had two other ones they have yellow and blue and you can tell that by the uh, description here that would be the limited edition blue jacket and they have a yellow jacket which uh, still sealed in the cardboard box but they wrote yellow on there so we'll take their word for it but if you ain't seen one I want to make sure there's the cat uh, in his blue jacket when I got uh, red and then the one and there is yellow which is uh, pretty darn sleek. Now that's the closest thing to a figure you can get of him. I mean, it is just a little bit of a bobblehead, but I'll uh, allow it. I think he's an excellent mascot for the, uh, you know, AMT. And uh, I wanted, they had the sale. I wanted uh, them to, because now I have the host set. You know, that's the way we like to roll around here. But anyway, I think he's a uh, pretty darn, uh, I like it. I just think it looks pretty slick. But anyway, uh, there's the blue jacket cat. We got the yellow jacket cat. And we'll be adding it to the Red Jacket Cat uh, to the art. So anyway, looking forward to it. May, and hopefully they don't come out with any more colors. If they do, I'll have to get them. Since I do have uh, the set now. Last but not least, you know how I love model history. And uh, this is a 1964 uh, Boy Scouts model design and building book. I have a, uh, a newer... Uh, version of the book coming and that should be in here in about a week and I'll show everyone that in the next one but anyway uh, this one I, I wanted to have it because uh, it does incorporate a lot of model building uh, techniques and uh, it's just an excellent little book and uh, plus I love the uh, designs in it anyway it talks about uh, uh, how you you know draw out your if you want to you know scratch build something you know build it it's a lot of old school uh, building you know building wood you know paper you know but it's just uh, you know choosing your model same principles today you know keep the design simple you know it's a lot of uh, 60 style uh, equipment you know even the cars are fancy which I think are pretty darn slick that one's my favorite but anyway land vehicles air and space I mean look at all the cool looking rockets. Just absolutely nuts. Space stations, you know. Ships, which, uh, you know, I'm a big fan of, you know, like that one. And then we got this one with the long fin, which, you know, that could be built. But anyway, it's just a lot of, uh, you know, talks about craftsmanship. Same thing, you know, today with model building. You know, it's just uh, I teach you a lot about scale, you know, design, you know, everything. It just it takes you through the process, which is the same thing as... Uh, it talks about construction, finishing, painting, and the newer model, the newer book, it has more of a, like, fine scale and everything in there, and I'll show everyone that uh, once it gets here, but anyway, I want, so I was going to do, do both, but they, uh, the post office didn't have it, but anyway, they didn't ship it, or they shipped it to the wrong side of the uh, states before it gets to me, but anyway, it's an excellent book, I mean, uh, and good condition too. I love history, uh, model building history, and I thought that would make an excellent uh, addition to uh, the art. Even talks about different types of painting, uh, shrinking and uh, splitting, orange peel, runs or snag, blistering, cracking, you know, rough and dirty. I mean, it's just uh, tells you the cons and the cures for it. Uh, aluminum foil, you know, that technique. It's just pretty darn slick. But anyway, excellent book. An original 1964 edition. So let me find the... Uh, where did I read that at? Yeah, right there. And then, uh, last but not least, I wanted to get the ARC a uh, model building patch. This is the uh, Boy Scouts model design and building patch. And it's still current to this day. And I thought that would be unique to have uh, the book, have the patch. And then I had the newer book too because it's got a... A lot of newer stuff in it but anyway uh, I had to uh, educate myself on patches because I would like to have an older one but a little more uh, money than I want to spend for it this is a newer one because it's got a kind of a plastic back to it but anyway good shape uh, and I thought that would make a unique uh, a unique item to have in the art the model design and building book and patch for the art but anyway that's what I have got going on today uh, we are adding the Joker, we're adding the uh, model design building book and merit badge, adding two cats, adding some droids, and the Grim Reaper gets his ride. So that's what I got going on today, so stay tuned for the next exciting episode.